gore. 24 for the <coughs> item. Okay. Maybe something solid like a um, slav. Something slav. Aha. The fearsome CD variation. The exchange slav. Uh, can I play this Bishop D6? Right, can I be adventurous here? I don't know, Knight G4 and F5. What about just A6? I think just A6. Okay, it's pressure bearing down on the queen side. Can I just go for E5? If I play Queen, Queen E7 to play E5. <coughs> if he's going to play F4, I think this is the time now to take on E5 to avoid. Uh, well, we can play F4 here anyway. What about uh, I don't know F6? Would that leave him a bit, a bit structurally uh, with an issue? If I play Rook F6, it's Bishop H4. I might Queen F6. There's a sort of like um, a French defense or something. D4 is Knight E4 now. Uh, B5 is Knight B5. Knight C5 is Knight D5. Uh, mm, bit of a bind on dark squares. Okay. Let's move G6 to stop F5. F5 is coming anyway. Hmm. Go back to D4, Knight E4. Hmm. Knight C5, Knight D5. Let's have a look at that a bit further. Takes, takes Queen B2. Hmm. B5 takes takes rook c6, it's rook a2. Mm. Is that that bad? I'll try that one. I've got to get this bishop out anyway. So knight b5, a, b, rook c6. Ah, there's a check here. Otherwise, e5 is uh, a bit of a menace. Mind you, d4, e5 anyway. Uh, Check bishop f2 though. About uh, d4 here. Play d4 anyway. So e5 probably coming. Um, is queen h6? Trying to get the queen out of the way. A bit down on the clock here. Not too good. Knight e4 to d6 looks strong as well. Um, do about this knight, what about over here? Play, uh, what is your knight g5? Mm. Okay, I'll get this, this knight here anyway. Stopping rook c7s. Uh, bishop b7 is knight d6. I'll, I'll do it anyway. Rook b7, maybe. I've just got to sort out this queen side. <coughs> so, nearly two minutes down on the clock. And lots of pressure to face. Okay, I'll keep that located. Uh, over here, maybe. Ah, okay. This rook takes b6 would be kind of annoying. Uh, I'm getting the queen in over here. Let's go e6. This one. Oh, I think that fails tactically. I think I'm going to resign actually after rook takes b6. Knight takes queen d8. It's been a bit of a disaster, I'm afraid, this game. Rook b6. Rook b6, bishop d5. Rook d5, queen b6. Just a whole bishop up. Let's have another game. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna try and have more diet coke. I think to wake up a bit more. Uh, <clears throat> so another REM, twenty three hundred. A bit tough on the auto parry. Anyway, King's engine. So he's gonna play the dreaded bayonet attack with B four now. Nope. The old mainline classic or something. Okay, I'm just gonna aim for uh, 
undermining g4 or even if g5 went to try and still sack a piece somehow maybe knight f6 so i've taken so i can win this pawn i know it's knight h7 oh, oh oh dear hang on i can still, still try and win that pawn that's more complicated than i thought okay uh yeah i'll try and win the pawn Bishop g3, h4, g5, space invaders, here we come. I hope. I hope he's not going to play rook g3, that'd be boring. Come on, let me play h4. Yes. So, what about... Alright, there's interesting stuff now. What about g5 start off with? Knight g6, maybe that's a good place for the knight. And then start entangling the rook. Maybe to h3. I mean, rook f7 to h7. Okay, that would be good for the diagonal. Positive note if he undermines. So, cd, cd. I'm having queen b6s. And a, a clock advantage. A clock advantage of about a minute. Wow. h3, doesn't that almost like win the exchange? Yeah, it does. So. I'll try rook f7 to h7, then h3, so I don't lose that h3 pawn. <clears throat> Want to have the cake and eat it, as they say, strangely. Okay, so rook h7, h3, without losing the h pawn, bishop h3. But also, I don't really want to allow rook g3 either. So... Um, hmm... I'm going to get this rook out, so if I get the other rook, like king g7, rook h8. Um, or rook f8 and g4 takes f3. Hmm. G4, interesting right there. <coughs> so g4, is he going to bother stopping g4? At least he can't infiltrate on c7 at the moment, that's a good thing as well. He's a bit passive. Um, so g4 here, then f3, f2, or even just knight f4 looks as though that's very strong. So I'm going to play that. Um, oh, ouch. Am I losing too many pawns? Maybe maybe this knight f4 wasn't so hot. If I can get in queen g5. Queen g5 coming up. I was going to protect that. That's annoying. I'll do it anyway, because I think knight h3 and queen e3. Queen h6 doesn't threaten anything. Um, knight e2 it hits the rook, so I can maybe play that. Um, consider playing that. Uh, if I had more pressure on the f file, I think I'll go back here then. So knight e2 to try and get more pressure on f2. Let's see, is there a decoy of some sort also with rook c8? So if I play king g7. Ah, okay. Can this knight hop around somewhere useful? No. But I'll try and get in rook c7, try and dominate the c file. <coughs> That'll be a turn up for the books. Ah, he's going to play rook c3. Let's hold on to that. For a sec. Okay, think about this. Um, let's sex for a second. What is it? What is he doing exactly on the queen side? Maybe he doesn't have to do anything. What about just queen here, eyeing e4? I'll take that. 
Oh, it's a bit weak in H3. Um, what about what about knight e2s? Uh, this looks incredibly solid, actually. Um, let's just go back here. What about knight h4 to g2? Or queen h6. Okay, one of the rooks is coming off. Infiltrate via e3. Let's get a pin. Pin and win. Oh, it's coming on the light squares. No oh doubt. <coughs> uh, I could play knight f4 to, to get the queens off. Doesn't look that great. Otherwise, queen d6 doesn't look great either. Queen e3, queen e6. I might just rook f6 for the moment, see what he's doing. Ah, uh, okay. Don't particularly want to lose the pawn, but I'm going to. Oh dear. Alright, queen d6, and he's on e5. What's going on? Then? I'm getting sliced. Tic tacs, tactics, tic tacs, knight h3, knight h4, queen h6 is. Pawns are coming forward now. Hmm. Rook g7. Ah, actually, knight f4, rook g4. Knight f4 here. Put my rook g4. And queen f2. So there is a pin on f2 which is actually potentially useful here. Strangely after losing these two pawns or nothing. Uh it's a knight f4. <coughs> I should be threatening knight e2. Knight e2 could be handy. Knight g3. Just rook g4, knight takes, queen g1. Okay, I think I'll go for that one. The rook g4 idea. So rook g4 takes on e2. What about queen h6 here? That looks pretty strong. Queen h6, because he's blocked. No, hang on, he's got bishop h3. So back to rook g4 without the drawing board. Queen h6, bishop h3, there's nothing, is there? Rook g4 takes queen g1. That's unclear. So I'll go, I'll go here anyway. <coughs> In fact, queen to c1 threatens queen g1 here. Queen G1 threat because it blocked his H3. He's only got 10 seconds anyway. So oh, he's giving up the bishop now. Oh well, uh, unsound game. Uh, King's engine luck, <coughs> which it generates. Um, okay, that was a bit crazy, I know, but uh, otherwise, you know, White's just gonna. Massacre me on the queen side probably, so it gets a bit of counterplay. I thought it was a really good position actually this, but uh, I think I did fluff it up. Premature um, g4. Of course the exchange tax is going to happen, just don't want to give him a pawn for it with rook, after rook g3. So if that was prepared a bit stronger, that would have been better. M maybe with the rook here to play f2 if it takes, and then taking on, on that, so that was a bit of a disaster. Unneeded, unnecessary uh, to, get, to let him have the exchange um, sack for a pawn. Uh, but anyway, a bit of luck there. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.